hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families i return to source i return to sender all negative energy anything immediately and permanently i call in when it appears of white light okay whatever the enemies have stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak okay all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled as i have said so shall it be judgment is final okay so i love this energy absolutely oh judgment is final you know, our little bell has become part of this channel, and we absolutely love it and admire it. Sometimes I watch back, and I see my ancestors floating through. I'm like, hey, there they go. They're still with me, and always will be. So we have our two of cups out here. Absolutely, two people are coming together. Okay? So this is, I'm getting that this is a union people have been trying to break. If it's a romantic or a business union. It is, it looks like it's still coming together. These two people will be partnering up successfully. <clears throat> they will be partnering up successfully, right? To manifest some type of new reality and they will be successful together. Uh, if this is not <clears throat> two people, this is a business coming to you and giving you an offer. This is an offer that has been meant for you for a long time, but there has been some type of you know, hocus pocus going on behind the scenes to block you off from receiving these offers. But you know, we're in a new age. The most high is stepping in to bring balance into a lot of situations. Situations, as I like to call it. So you are absolutely going to be receiving what's yours. Just know that you've been through the ringer with these people. You've been through the ringer. Okay? And some of you don't even know it because you've been so protected by the most high. Okay, you've been so protected. So someone may want to come in. It's not even may. Someone is coming in to give you this offer, bring something to your awareness. They're going to tell you, hey, I, I, I want to work with you. You know, I think we can build this together. I think we can build this business together. It's like a new business idea for some of you. And for some of you, this is a 10 of pentacles that's coming from an institution being given to you. Something was left to you. Uh, for some of you, the, the owner of... Uh, an uh, enterprise, a company may be passing away or passed away and left you some type of uh, uh, position or something of that nature. And you will be surprised when you find out. The, you, the universe works in a mysterious way, right? Where you can go from being lowly and irrelevant to being someone of high honor the next day. And this is what's about to happen for someone. It's going to be like, oh my gosh, like, Oh my gosh, yesterday they were just like struggling, you know, uh, uh, barely making ends meet, living from paycheck to paycheck. And then now they are, you know, working for an enterprise or running an enterprise, something like that. that like someone out there, your life is about to make like a whole 360 degree turn, but in the right direction, right? You've been in the opposite for a while. And this is because your enemies have been doing a lot behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement. They didn't want you receiving this Ten of Pentacles, this Two this uh, two of Cups. They didn't want you in any type of abundant energy. It's that like they just want to use stuck in some type of like mindset. It's that, hey, we don't need this person or want this person thriving any more than that, okay? If you work for a company and you actually do your job, show up to work and actually put in the effort, they've paid a lot of these companies to keep you stagnant. It's that don't give her a raise, don't change her position, don't don't give her a, 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 a promotion or anything like that. If it's a masculine, you're going through the same thing. They don't want you going up in the company that you're working with. They don't want anyone loving you. For some of you, they pay your ex-lovers to, you know, turn their back on you, betray you, pay family members to do the same thing. You know, this age that we just left, the Pisces age, honey, these dark workers were on our behind. They were tearing us up. They were playing us like tubas and flutes all over the field in the auditorium. Just a and we're just like, oh my lord, when is this 26,000 years going to be over? We are done and done with this mess. 
But lo and behold, we are in the new age of Aquarius. Another 26,000 years, but this new era, this new age is going to be filled with balance being brought into different situations. Karmics have had 26,000 years to get it right. Now we, the star seeds light workers, we are here to bring balance, to elevate the vibrations of the planets that we are on, okay? And we are going to be doing a marvelous job. We've lasted this long. We've been incarnating all these years, all these lifetimes, and now... In this new age, we're bringing balance, okay? So you absolutely will be receiving what's yours. You're going to be sealing, sealing onto calmer waters, being able to move on and heal from all of the trauma people have caused a lot of you, okay? Causing you PTSD, all these narcissistic people, right? They are going to be at a loss for words. Someone, there's a group of people that are going to sit down and watch you receive what is yours, they want to watch you receive what is yours. This is when they're going to be coming in to give you these false offers. Say, hey, hi. I, I know we were trying to unalive you, but we changed our mind. You know, I, I don't know what the heck we were thinking, but we changed our mind. Now we know that you are someone that you know that's genuine. You two really should be together. You deserve each other. Anyway, she's the dark. She's dark in a way. She's not going to help him. No, like, duh. Like, we didn't know that. We didn't know that. We didn't know she was dark and he was trying to heal and move on with his life. And you always trying to block him from moving on and connecting with his higher level soulmate. You didn't know that this woman was trying to move on and connect with her higher level soulmate. Will you, will you miss us with the BS? Miss us all together. Okay? There's a toxic couple in here, honey. They are being exposed. They're going to have to come in and extend some type of offer to you. It's not genuine. These people don't like you. They're a couple of narcissists, okay? They've been absolutely determined to stop your forward movement. So they're coming in now because they know they cannot defeat you. Everything they did trying to end your forward movement is not happening. So they're going to have to come in now. Or this is what they are going to want to do is come in and send some type of offer to you. It's fake as heck. They want to settle with you, compromise with you, say, hey, we'll give you this if you can just let us stay in the company. We'll give you this if you can just, you know, let us stay around, keep our positions and things like that. I know my husband tried to take what was yours. And we're so sorry about that. They're not sorry. While those people are talking to you, I guarantee you 100%, they are coming up with ways in their head on how to sneak you. Because this is how these types of people work. They are working on how to sneak you. While you're having a brand new passionate beginning in life, while you're having your abundance and everything, there's a couple that's about to be going through some type of ending. They may end up losing all of their finances. You could have someone toxic from this COVID coming to you. What? I, every time I see the devil, I think COVID coat. That's why you all hear that word a lot in my readings. Okay? But really, the devil has to do with having toxic attachments. Things that you need to let go of. Okay? Like unhealthy connections. Unhealthy habits. Unhealthy places, things, and people. Needing to let go. If it's in the upright, that means that you're still attached to those things. You're still uh, indulging into those things. That's what the devil means. But when I see it, I just think, oh, Colvin. <laughs> I'm so simple-minded. You are so simple-minded. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the devil. Mm, Colvin, Colvin, Colvin. I'm allergic. <laughs> right? <laughs> But things are being balanced out. Things are being balanced out. You too, if this is a relationship, it's still coming together. I told you, these people, why they're making you an offer, they're still going to be trying to sneak you, trying to block your forward movement, trying to block you from moving forward in life. If you're trying to move anywhere, move to another company, another state, another city, wherever it is, they're still trying to sneak you. Okay, they think that they have control over the situation. You're not able to move forward. You're not able to move backwards. You're just stuck, but it's not so. There are situations that you all are in, and this is not just a testing time for these people. This is a testing time for you all too. The Most High is seeing, hey, how committed are you? How much do you trust me to get you out of this? 
How much do you trust me to make sure that things is going to go in your favor? How much do you trust me to know that you can that you that I'm going to look out and make sure that your journey is clear, your journey is safe. You are going to receive what I promised you. Are you going to trust me to know that I was telling you the truth that I'm always telling you the truth? I'll never lie to you. You're being tested as well by the most high, not just your enemies. A lot of these people were being tested when they were going up against you, trying to cause you unnecessary endings because of greed. But now, the Most High wants you to know that even you, you are going through some type of test. And yeah, they want you to know you're going through some type of test. Okay? Do you trust the Most High? Do you trust the universe, your ancestors, your soul guides? To make sure that they are acting on your behalf, looking out for your interest and things like that. Okay? That's what they are doing. You don't have to do too much. Take the right actions that they tell you at the right time. Okay? They were trying to sneak you, give you some type of... Oh, just end you, basically. They said, uh, they may not know about this, so we can keep it. They said, uh, no. They may not know, but we know. This is the universe talking. We know. We destined this for this person, so we know. We're going to need you to get that back. Okay? There's something in here about a high priestess as well. I don't have full clarity on her, but I will soon. Okay? All I know is you're about to be in high honor. You manifested something a long time ago. And your enemies are absolutely disappointed because you're still receiving this. They may want to send someone in the gas like you or they're sending someone in the gas. Yeah, you're a higher level soulmate, whoever this is. He knows. He knows. This is someone sharp as a two-edged sword. There's no way to blindsight this person. They know who this, who they are sending in. Okay? They may want you to see this person as unfit to be with you. They want you to think that he's coming in to trick you, whatever it is. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Okay? Be vigilant. Absolutely vigilant. I'm telling you, they're trying to cause some type of illusion so you can end up disappointing yourself. Oh, and you are the queen of swords, honey. You are just as vigilant as this person, whoever it is. I know they're showing up in the king of swords energy, but... You know, we all uh, uh, take on these energies when it fits. So the energies are not always the same. You may, dom per, you, you, you may predominantly be a king of swords, but you have the other attributes that you can take on. You could be a king of wands for a second if something's going on in your life. You can become the king of cups when you fall in love or you're working on your dreams, right? Things like that. So... Anyways, you are absolutely protected. Absolutely protected. You're still coming into your abundance. I'm telling you. You're, this, this was like sideways. But anyways, we're going to put it this way. We are going to put it this way. I'm telling you. Oh, okay. I was needing clarity on a sister. I was needing clarity on your system. Anyway, someone took some type of quick action. Someone took some type of quick action to steal something, to trick, to cause some type of trickery, do something, and it led to them trapping themselves in something. Someone is going to be going through some type of financial loss, and it's just not them. It's the people around them, the people they collaborated with. Okay? Be mindful as well. Someone could be coming in to give you an offer just to trap you. Say, so, hey, hey, we know, we know, <laughs> we know that you know that we know that you know <laughs> what's going on here. We know you have to 411, but um, we were hoping, um, you know, we could give you this, you know, 25 cents out of your $14 million um, and you could kind of hush, hush, and like, shh, shh, okay? And you're just like, uh, yeah, I don't think so. I'm going to have to have a meeting with my ancestors about this one. Because, you know, the math ain't mathing. They told me that I was going to get this. 
the people work that I see says that I'm supposed to get this. Um, and you're telling me that I'm gonna get in 25 cents. Like, uh, do I look like boo-boo the fool to you? Like, <laughs> do you think I was born yesterday or something? Uh, I was born on a day, but it wasn't yesterday. So I'm gonna need my 14 million. Okay. So your ancestors have stepped in. Your ancestors have stepped in. There could be a high priestess in this group that has been awakened. Either your ancestors are hunting this person or her ancestors are speaking to her. But she's part of this community. She is trying to make things right. This woman is going through some type of change. She's going through some type of change. You're a high priestess yourself, man or woman, and your ancestors have called you. They've called you. They've told you to come up. Take the call, accept the call, and rise up to the occasion. Be that phoenix rising from the ashes is what they're telling you. And you accepted your call. So they're taking you out of this energy here, putting you in this energy. They're like, you're not stuck in nothing. That's not how our, our lineage moves. People can try to sneak you all they want, but we have it covered. That's not how we move. That is not how we move. They say, you're not stuck. You're not stuck. We've been told you you're not stuck. Remove yourself, right? What is the, uh, 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 the hanging man? Self-sacrifice, spiritual growth, prophecy, involuntary submission. Trust is being tested, suffering, new perspective, unconventional. You're not stuck. Your enemies are stuck. You didn't do anything to sacrifice yourself. You don't have anything to submit to because you're not part of this toxic city. You're out somewhere living a vita loca in whatever way it is for you. We don't mean you're living some luxurious lifestyle. Maybe some of you are. But you have your peace of mind, which is what people have been trying to disturb. You're still moving on, sealing on the karma waters regardless of what these people are doing. So your ancestors have made, made judgment. They call you, you answer, you step up to the plate. And they said, good, you're trusting us. This is all we've ever wanted from you is for you to trust us. I'm telling you. And just like that, that you're free. Not that you were ever bonded to anything. You're, you're not bonded to nothing or no one. People have plans to come in gaslight you pretend like they care about you genuinely hey i'm trying to extend a true friendship to you you remember we have a soul contract I'm like uh sir 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 you are trying it you are trying it let me excuse me as i get a sip of my vibe this morning you are trying it in me and my ancestors and the universe you're trying it Okay, you fell from grace because you betrayed whoever that soulmate is. You betrayed them. You martyr yourself. You were supposed to see things from a higher perspective. You were supposed to protect your crown chakra so people couldn't manipulate you. Okay, but you didn't do that. You martyr yourself. Now you want to come in. Hey. <laughs> I want to be friends. Can we just start off as friends? And you're like, um, again, let me have a meeting with my ancestors at umpteen of clock. And I will get back to you. Okay? Please sit tight. It's an illusion. They are living in anxiety and fear. Okay? They don't know what's about to happen. They don't know. Because they know they betray someone genuine. I'm telling you. People want to give someone with someone or people may want to heal things with you because they know they act up royally. These are people that came after you for no reason. All because of money. Greed. Okay? And the whole time they thought you didn't know. There's someone who there's a masculine who their mask fell off a long time ago in someone's energy, and they didn't even know that you knew. This is like meeting someone and like within what, three weeks, four weeks, their mask fell off because they accept their bribery behind the scenes. And the whole time they didn't know that you knew 
that they were part of this talk this not toxic but this family it could be a toxic family this whole collaboration behind the scenes this person didn't even know that you knew and you've been sitting across from this person either some of you going out with them just keeping your cool because you're waiting for things to blow up and they thought they were going to do this to you and the most high is telling you i don't think so i don't think so okay there's a masculine in here that's going through some type of awakening this is someone that was uh head over heels on taking you down destroying your life gaslighting you playing with you okay this person is going through some type of awakening he's realizing that he's been trapping himself this whole time with this group either this is a marriage he's been trapped in he's letting go he's going through healing okay he is going through healing he said oh Oh, I thought I knew everything. I thought you betrayed me. I was I, I was manipulated and confused. They told me you did this to me. And you're like, oh, yeah, I don't know anything about that. <clears throat> I don't know nothing about that. Whatever they told you I did, didn't do, I don't know nothing about it. My name is missing, and I'm not in it. Thank you. Okay? My name is missing. And I'm not in it. So someone is going through healing. Someone is learning how to stop letting people have control over them because of resources and money. Okay? They may need your help freeing them, actually. I'm telling you. They may need your help freeing them. Someone wants to live in their truth now. So much going on. There's a higher priestess that has a, has a lot going on. Okay, someone paid, someone decided they were going to sneak another person, a higher ranking energy. They said, hey, we're giving you this money. There's a couple that paid someone. We're giving you this money to steal from someone, to block someone. Don't let them grow, okay? They have this abundance attached to them. They have all this money and property attached to them and we don't want them to know about it because we want to keep enjoying it even though it don't belong to us and later on we're going to have to pay everything back that we stole yeah um we need you to make sure they never leave block their forward movement and okay i will do it and this is someone that knew better someone knew better Someone knew better. And so either she or he accepted the bribery to have you fall from grace. It said, oh, oh, you think you're privileged? I'll show you. And your ancestors were sitting back and watching. It said, oh, you know, we put this person in your life so you two could work together. Okay? And here you are acting a fool. So we're going to have to humble you. Exactly. We're going to have to humble you. So they're living in fear. So, oh my gosh. I betray. I betray this person. I shouldn't have. <clears throat> yeah. Someone has received some type of message that a masculine is not stuck. You're not stuck, collective. You're free to go. You're not stuck. You're free to go. Okay? Mm. Someone received some type of message and they didn't like it. They are heartbroken about it. They were told that someone took some type of action to keep you stuck, block you, and they're not happy about it. People know that this whatever is going on is not going in their favor, whether it's a divorce a lawsuit, whatever it is, it's not going in their favor. This man is not stuck anymore. They've been trying to keep a masculine stuck this whole time. A masculine energy, and they've been trying to temper with a feminine energy to block these two from coming together. But neither of them are stuck. They're free as a bird. 
They are free as a bird. And this is a rude awakening. Someone is finding out that you're not stuck. Whether you're a man or a woman, you are not stuck. It's a, oh, I thought we would have this person in their mind. We would have them confused, having anxiety, not knowing what to do, not knowing who was coming for them. You want to tell me they know everything? They said, yeah, they know everything. And this is going to go in their favor. You are destined to lose to this star scene, man or woman. Their ancestors already called judgment. Like you basically took some type of action to trap yourself, to break your own heart. This star sea is not heartbroken. There's a masculine, I said masculine and the emperor came out. I guess there's an emperor that took some type of action to cause some type of blockage. Okay? To cause some type of blockage. And he thought you were going to be heartbroken. All he did was martyr himself, destroy himself, sacrifice himself. This man dug a hole for himself he's not able to get out of. Someone is having a lot of anxiety behind the scenes, as they should, because they're about to lose everything. Lose everything. Someone thought they were betraying you and breaking your heart only to find out they were only destroying themselves. That's how the universe works. That's how things work. You think you're ending someone, but you find out that you were just ending yourself. Okay, so you're going to be receiving some type of good news. Okay, good news that's going to lead to something really beautiful for you. This karmic couple, I mean, it's not looking good for them. Some of you, this, these, these people may not go to jail, but they're going to be losing everything. And for some of you, they are going to jail because they broke laws. Invading someone's privacy is law is it is, is illegal. Fortune signatures is illegal. This is a lot of what's going on in these situations. And it's all being exposed. Like, oh, this is what you do behind the scenes. We thought you were a king of cups. We thought you were a queen of pentacles in the upright. You want to tell me you're just greedy? That's all you are. You want to tell us you're just slimy? You're not a true king of cups? embarrassments but these types of people the only thing they're embarrassed about is their ego being tampered with they want to keep pretending to be something they're not for the rest of their lives and the many people find out what they are <gasps> i am appalled no you're a narcissist you're slimy okay you are slimy It's going to be exposed. Something has been exposed. They can't bring legal issues to you. You're not bonded. You're not bonded to anything. So they may be paying people to have you pulled out of a home, out of your stability. These people are like, uh, 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 what is the word I want to use? Intimidated by you. They're angry. Someone is bitter behind the scenes. It's a bitter Betty, Betty behind the scenes. A bitter Ben. These people are angry behind the scenes. Okay? I'm telling you. And you're going to be having a new beginning. What does this say? Clarity. Clarity. Decisiveness. Action. Decision. Arbitration. Poor judgment. Wrong choice. Correcting mistakes. Need rational decisions. I'm telling you. They may. They pay someone. To have you pull out of your home, have you lose your stability, maybe your job and everything. And they're getting clarity on the situation. Now it's like, oh, I thought we were going against the wrong person. But it's like, no, you're not. You've been going against your partner. Someone put, literally God put a star seed in someone's life to help them heal, recover, and become abundant. Because... For some of you, this is a masculine that wants to be successful in life. He has a lot of ambition, but the way he goes about his ambitions is not right. You were putting his life to help this person elevate in every way, shape, form, shape and form, every way possible. But this person is blinded by greed, lust, 
And this is why they accept a payment from an institution to cause you an ending. And now they have clarity on the situation. So they're going to have to correct everything they've been doing. They have to correct everything. They say, oh, well, we took this from them. We have to put it back. We blocked this from them. We have to unblock it. We stole from them. We have to give it back. We said they were, or we were, we said they were this. We have to clear that, clear that up. They're not like that. We said they were a liar. That's not a liar. We said they were a cheat. That's not a cheat. Someone is having to undo their mistakes. Undo their mistakes. They came for the wrong energy because of lies. And this is a masculine energy that's going through this. There's an institution as well that's having clarity on what people have been doing behind the scenes. People are trying to hide their hand. You know how Pontius Pilate, uh, Pontius Pilate wanted to wash his hands of Jesus' uh, uh, execution? It said, no, that's not how that works. You don't just get to wash your hands in water and then decide, oh, I had nothing to do with this. You're the, the Lord of the land. You can say, we're not going to assassinate this man. You don't let the people decide. Let them be angry, but you know what's right. You know Jesus is innocent. Why would you let the people hang him? It's like, I've washed my hands of this matter. I'm going to leave it to you all to decide. You know they don't like Jesus. You know he 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 uh, 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 makes the demons within them feel uncomfortable. He bothers the demons within them. So why would you let them decide his fit? Obviously, his fit is sealed to die when you do that, right? What kind of manipulative tactic is that? Come on now. So Pontius Pilate's hands were not clean. Whoever told him it was clean, just because you washed it in water, don't mean it was clean. Just because you had pure intentions for Jesus, you knew what was going to happen. You knew how it was going to turn out. He knew his people. Those leaders from back in those days, they knew their people. They knew those people were crazy, out for blood. You saw what they did for entertainment? They sat, sat down in an auditorium to watch knights, gladiators fight to the death. Crazy. Barbaric. So Pontius Pilate knew what was going to happen to Jesus. He already knew. I'm telling you, he knew. <laughs> the ancestors be on, on everything. Everything I say literally on my channel, I am so glad that I found my path in life. That my ancestors support me. The universe support me and they show me love. You know, people see me, they're like, oh, she's by herself. We can do whatever. She's irrelevant. I, I don't care about any of that. Like, honey, I know the forces that are behind me. These forces right here, I know. They don't play about me. So he knew what he was doing to Jesus. Okay? There's clarity on, in this situation. Someone knows that they have to really bad it. They came badly. They came for the wrong energy. I'm telling you, they came for the wrong energy. So now it's time to bring balance into this situation because they say, oh, you mean you didn't do this? No. You mean you didn't say this? No. You mean you didn't steal this? No. You mean you're not loose out here? No. No, 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 no. Okay? Listen, I'm going to use my situation as something, as an example, because someone out here, you may be going through the same thing. So I left a toxic situation not too long ago. What, a year ago now? I can't believe it's been a year. I don't have any ill intentions for this man. Nothing spiteful, not a bitterness in my heart for him. I wish him healing. I wish him to have the best in life, whatever source decides that he deserves. I hope he has that, okay? I have literally, like, I have no ill intent for this person. This is someone I was dating. We were in each other's in each other's energy for what six years, and it was not a pleasant time. Of course, like everything else, it starts off pleasant, but it was not pleasant after what about? Uh, I'm telling you, it was not pleasant. It was not pleasant because this is someone that came and didn't tell me the full scope of anything about him. 
And I was young minded as well when I met this man, very young minded, dealing with a lot of insecurities, unsure of myself, even though like, honey, I am all that and a bag of chips. But I've never been superficial, never been someone that's into my looks. When people tell me, oh, you're so gorgeous or pretty, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I, like, I don't like to bring attention to my looks. It makes me feel uncomfortable. It's not because I don't think I'm beautiful. It's just I don't want any focus on that. I want people to see my brain. See me for my mind, not for my beauty. But that's still something I've always struggled with. Anyway, so when I met this man, I was going through, you know, that period where we all go through the self, low self-esteem time, unsure of ourselves, second-guessing ourselves, you know, and people know that around us, so they use that to manipulate us. But honey, when I tell, tell you I got with this man not knowing anything about him, I didn't do my research. We were working together when we met and then I had ended up leaving. Uh, uh, and then we ended up, you know, starting, we started dating after I left. Uh, we had developed some type of friendship at work. And then because I don't really like to, like to date coworkers, I said, well, he seems like a cool person, but we work together. I don't like to S-H-I-T where I work, right? <laughs> Money and pleasure, I've never been good with mixing those two. So I tried to keep the two separate, okay? So anyways, we, you know, have this friendship at work and I end up leaving, but we stay in contact. We start, you know, talking, we start hanging out, going out on dates and stuff. But there was always something mysterious about this man and I never knew what it was, but I was so, I was soon to find out what it was. Okay. I was soon to find out. I would be around this man and I'm like, something is not adding up. And my ancestors kept telling me, we know we're trying to tell you, but you're not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening. And this is, honey, when you see this here, this was me for almost six years. This was me, sorrows, sorrows, sorrows. But let's get to it. And I'm just looking. <laughs> My ancestors are exposing me like every car is this or that. It's like, hey, chill. I know we're in sync. We, we, we communicate here. When I say... I knew nothing about this gentleman, but I was sure to find out. Every day I'm around this person, he's going to work, I'm going to work. We have our difficulties and things like that. We managed to work through them somehow. But things are just not adding up. Someone is, he's disappearing, he'll leave, go to another state for a few days. And I'm just like, what? where where they do that at? I may be dealing with insecurities right now, but even I know that, that that's not that's not how it goes. That's not how the formula is set up when it comes to relationships. <laughs> you don't just disappear for two or three days and then reappear like all is well. And he did it a couple of times. So I told him, hey, next time you go, just stay there. Don't come back. But I was soon to find out this person had a lot of addictions they were dealing with. And I'm not going to put it out there. That's his business. Um, he had a lot of addictions he was dealing with. And I never knew that. But that's why we need to look into people before we get with them. As things, things progress a year later, I'm like, something still is not right. Like, I know he has this problem, but there's something else this person is not telling me. So one night he goes to work because he worked night shift. I put on my investigation hat, took on my uh, 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 magnifying glass, my spiritual magnifying glass, and I said, I'm going to find out what the heck is going on. Only when I said I went through everything in that room, documents, I didn't care if I had to go through underwears. I didn't care what it was. I went through it. Only for me to find out that this person was already legally obligated. Didn't tell me did not tell me nothing and when i said i was pissed like you are legally obligated sir and you didn't tell me mm. the angel in me was telling me hey wait till he comes from work so you can talk to him about this the devil said uh-uh we're taking care of this right now and honey 
the devilish side of me, the dark side of me came out and it took over. When I said I texted that man so fast, do -do 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 excuse me, you didn't tell me you were married. You should have told me you were married. You should have given me the option to choose if I wanted to date you or not. I don't care you two are separated, whatever you call it. Why didn't you tell me? And he told me the most ridiculous lie and reason for why he didn't tell me. And I'm not going to say it either because I don't want to tamper with his whatever he has going on here. That's his business. But I was looking. I said, this me. This was me trying to stay calm, honey. I was trying to team that beast with him. I said, this man really thinks I'm boo boo the fool. Honey, I only deal with insecurities because of things I went through, not because I'm dumb. So from that day, when I found out, oh, honey, there was no physical nothing. You are obligated. You didn't tell me. If you would have told me that we were in this kind of situation or that you were obligated, I should have the right right to decide. I want to be with you even though you are obligated. I don't want to be with you because I don't want to be with someone that's obligated. Maybe the two of them are separated or something. I don't care. Tell me. Tell me first. Okay? So from that day, I mean, we lived together for four more years, sir, ma'am, people. And there was nothing. We're <laughs> Nothing, honey. We are not, we're roommates by this point, at this time. We are roommates as far as I know. This is not what you think it is. Whether you like it or don't like it, I'm glad that you and I are not having any type of physical contact because you are devious as heck. But this is something like this that someone is going through. You didn't know, okay? Someone had, someone painted a picture and then tell everyone the truth. You could have an ex out here misleading people about you. Okay? And this person, the person I was with, honey, <laughs> this man was a character. Towards the end of the situationship, a brother goes and partner up with a whole institution, karmic, coven, whatever we want, we want to call them. Taking robberies and letting these people invade my privacy. Everything he was into it. And I'm just sitting back and watching him like, oh, you moron. You don't know what's coming for you. And I knew the spiritual warfare had intensified because, honey, I was seeing my dad relative left and right. One night is my mother, the next is my father, the next is my brother. They're trying to tell me, hey, honey, honey, you're not safe. And I'm like, I know I'm not safe, but I'm trapped here. They're like, you're not trapped. This is what we told you to do. You've been holding back. You need to go and do it. So I started taking actions. Mind you, I had tried to leave this person before, but I ended up, I found out I was pregnant. So I was just like, oh, I don't want to have this child in a broken home. So I'm just going to try to stay and make it work. Worst mistake of my life. Not my child, but the situation. Oh my gosh. When I said this man went out of his way trying to break me down, he did it piece by piece by piece by piece by piece. And by the time I was leaving this situation ship, honey, that vibrant young woman I used to be was dead and gone. But I had to find my strength to get out of that nightmare. Because this man, if I would have stayed with him one more month, I wouldn't be out, I wouldn't be here today to tell you guys this story. I would not be here. That like I was literally having, we would be sitting down across from this man and having visions of this person letting someone in the home to come do me something. This man was letting people into our homes at night while I was sleeping. They were scoping our house to see when it would be, how, when, why, whatever, to come into the home to do us something. He gave them access. Give them access to our home. And he thought I didn't know. And he tried to set it up as, oh, you know, I lost my key. Someone may have my key. 
And the whole time, you know, I'm tr I'm in, in the process of trying to move my kids and I. And I'm getting worried on that. Lord, I just need like a few more days to get my kids and I out of here. I just need a few more days to get us out of here. And they're like, oh, honey, <laughs> tomorrow is the day. And I said, thank you. I told him, hey, I'm moving, you know, I think April the 30th, but I already knew I was moving on the 15th. Nah, I got to stay ahead of the enemy, honey. We got to stay ahead of the enemy. Honey, when I said I found my masculine strength that day, yay. <laughs> my kids and I, we moved everything by ourselves. The beds, the dressers, whatever we needed we needed or wanted to move with us, that's what we took. I drove that U-Haul truck by myself. And skippity pop pop my way away. And I said, mm-mm. I'm done. This man tried to sacrifice me, you all. Tried to sacrifice me. And he thought I didn't know the whole knew he never thought that I knew the whole time I was with him. You are in something like that. And your spiritual battle is intensifying. Someone, either you dated this person, didn't date them, worked for this institution, whatever it is, they are out for you. And they've destroyed your character with other people. They've gone around and told people you're something that you're not. They've invaded your privacy. Some of you, when you're sleeping, people are creeping into your homes at night. You don't know. Trust me. I've been through it. I know. And you're probably wondering, how can someone sneak into your home and you don't know? Honey, it happens. I know. How I know? Someone is on camera doing it while I was sleeping. So be careful. Be careful. These people have clarity about this situation now. So maybe your name is being cleared up. He said, hey, I know we thought this person was devilish. They were demonic. They were after us. They stole some money. We were wrong. Oh, this could be a masculine energy finding this out. Oh, I effed up. That's what's going on. Okay, this is you, collective. The universe wants you to know your pathway is clear. You do get to seal on the calmer waters. And you're going to be, you know, collaborating with a new soul tribe. A community that's going to support you. A community that's going to support you. I'm telling you, you're sailing on the calmer waters. Your pathway is clear. You are destined to win. Destined to receive what's yours. You are in something like this. Okay? And you don't know. Because you're so protected. The universe, your ancestors have been looking out for you. Without you knowing. Because for a while when I was in this situation where my partner was trying to have me sacrifice or agreed to have me sacrifice, I didn't know initially. I was still going on blase blase. In my African culture, we are thought, even if you and the person do not agree, they're still a human at the end of the day. So you still need to make sure that they are taken care of, right? So even though I was with this masculine and I wasn't happy, he wasn't happy, I didn't I think he loved me. I knew he loved me, but he come from that generation where they show love in a particular way. But it, it just wasn't going anywhere. Even though we weren't happy together, he knew when I cooked, he ate. Right? I was more than happy to share with him whatever I had. I never made a fuss about it, like, oh you're eating my food. No, that's childish as heck. Welcome to the kitchen. Eat whatever you like. Whether you bought it, you didn't buy it, eat whatever you like. Because I always think, hopefully my son doesn't end up in this situation in the future. But if he does, I will hope that that woman will make sure that my son eats, that he's taken care of. I said, son, and the page of wands comes out. Okay, I will hope that she will make sure my son is taken care of. He's eating. And even if she's not, he knows he has a mom he can come home to to feed him. And he can go about his business. But there's something like this going on. Someone is living in regret. I, oh my Lord. <laughs> I said regret and then the four of cups come, comes out. 
Someone is living in regret for what they did to you. They're finding out that they effed up royally. You had nothing to do with the situation. You didn't betray this person. This is what they were told, that you betrayed them. Okay? You betrayed them, but you didn't. Someone had it out for you to destroy you, but this is your energy. You are popping. Someone in here went to get a reading. Someone went to get a reading. This is part of why this high priestess is out here. Someone went to get a reading and they found out that you are this energy. This is you. Innocent, kind-hearted, pure, nurturing. And someone lied to them or a group of people lied to them. They pay people to smear your character. And this woman told this masculine that she said, hey, I don't know what you think this is, but this person didn't do anything to you. This is not a thief. This is not a whore. This is not what you think it is. You've been misled. Now you've taken actions to block this person forward movement, their finances, trying to get them caught up in legal issues, trying to get them locked up and stuff. You're after the wrong person. This is what this high priestess told this man. You are after the wrong person. And now he knows. He knows now. Someone's trying to find your strength to do the right thing. But their ego still, I'm telling you. Someone is trying to find the strength to do the right thing, but their ego is still taking over. They're realizing that they received some type of ill advice from someone, a false hierophant. Someone that was pretentious. They acted like they knew you. They acted like they had the full one one on you. This person don't know nothing about you. This is an institution or someone else just has a lot of jealousy for you. They lied. And someone accepted the, the, the offer, the bribe, to take you out. And now he's regretting the actions he took to end you because he's realizing it was all based on false allegations. False allegations. It had nothing to do with you. Some of these people don't even have a legitimate reason for why they're coming after you. You know that situation I was in, that's when the sometimes the the the, the wife will come out and say, oh, she ruined my home. You know, listen, she ruined my home. She's she slept with my husband. She took my man. It's like, uh, honey, your husband didn't tell this person they were married. Why is your husband out here acting like he doesn't know he's married? But this will be one of those. The, the wife will be going around telling lies because she's hurt and stuff. Whatever it is. Oh, she's the home wrecker. And then the truth is like, uh, ma'am, what? Like, no, that's not what happened. What had happened was he didn't tell the truth. I'm telling you. This man is disappointed because he took some type of action to interfere with your forward movement, your stability, your work. Sabotage your work. That's what they did. These people sabotaged your work. And they're still trying to sabotage you. If you work a nine to five, you're still trying to find a way to destroy it as well. And the Most High is telling you, keep your mind on me. Keep your mind on positive thoughts. It's all going to work out. Okay? But there's clarity. I'm telling you, they're still trying. They're still trying to sneak you in you, destroy you. This is how these types of people move. It's like no matter what, they're still going to keep trying. They're exposed. There's clarity in the situation. And they're still trying to sneak you. Because someone is just that much of a narcissist. They don't want to lose. Yeah. They don't want to lose. I'm telling you. Someone here is supposed to be an emperor. emperor. Mm. He's supposed to be. He's been working with people to end you. 
someone else may want to bring balance into a situation. Okay. They're discussing you. Say, hey. Yeah, I think we have to fix this. This has gone too far. Yeah. This has gone too far. This has gone too far. Mm. They want to put a dead, put a dead to this situation, end this situation. All of these people want to move forward. And it's like, uh, yeah, we need to bring balance into this situation. We effed up. Yeah, they effed up royally. They effed up royally. Thank you. These people effed up royally. And they know you know. You're sharp as heck. Is that she knows? He knows. They've known this whole time. And you're like, yeah. Uh-huh. What you thought you got away with something? You thought you had something uh on someone? You thought you had the upper hand, an advantage or something? But you knew. You know who's been doing what. I'm telling you. You know what you know who's been doing what. And at the end of the day, you're still coming out in the upright. You're still receiving what's yours. Absolutely. You are still receiving what's yours. This karmic group, they're not going to be happy. They're not going to be happy. These members are worried. I'm telling you. They're worried. They martyr themselves, destroy their path, their life, their stability. Someone's sending a message. Hey, she knows. He knows. They say, yeah. She knows everything we've been. Yeah, she knows everything we've been doing. There's a tower. She knows. She knows everything. There's a tower. There's a tower. You thought you were gonna surprise someone and steal from them? Yeah, honey. Mm, I told you, your victory is insured. Your victory is insured. I was trying to find a place to put this. Your victory is insured. You're in charge of this matter. The universe has decided to give you the power. You've got the power, power, power. I'm gonna put that as the title. <laughs> You've got the power, power, power. Hey. Mm. There's clarity about the betrayal, the sneakiness, the lie, the maliciousness, the thievery, the backstabbing, the stealing, everything. There's clarity about it. They said this woman didn't do a goddamn thing to anybody. This man didn't do a goddamn thing to anybody. They've been innocent the whole time and you cannot have what's there. She told us this person was local, local, delusional, a thief an imbecile, an incompetent person, and it's sounding like they are a little bit more educated than you are. They have a lot more common sense than you do. Because anyone with common sense would not be doing any of this. Dedicating themselves to something so childish. Childish as heck. Some people age in numbers, but not in maturity. And it's a disappointment because some of these people, you see them, you can see the possibilities in them. I've seen them. I've met a man before. I've worked with this man. I saw the man and I'm so glad that I have this gift. I have the gift to see people. Like I can see people separately. I can see your devilish side and I see the, the good side in you. I met this man and absolutely immediately. I said, like, oh, this is someone that has discernment. This is someone that's gifted, has favor on his life, but he's stuck in something that he shouldn't be a part of. This is why his ancestors are distanced from him. I could tell, like, like, you know some people, you meet them and they have that mark of God on them, but they did something where they, they were led astray. And a brother thought he was deceiving me. I'm like, sir, you don't know, you don't know who you're dealing with, do you? Like, I see you. I can literally see someone and I can tell you like what you've been through, which I try not to do and stuff like that because that's invasive. But if you were to sit across from me and you wanted me to look in your life, I can tell you, hey, you went through this. You deal with this type of karma. You're a pushover. You need to get over that. You need to learn how to get over that. This is how you can get over it. It's 
sad. it's scary sometimes but that's why i stay quiet when i meet people i just watch it when you meet me i have like a blase blase energy about me like i'm stoic but carefree carefree at the same time i smile a lot i kind of overlook things because if i pay too much attention to everything my mind gets to go into places that shouldn't go because now i have to figure out why the heck you did that when did you do it it's like huh, i'm just gonna overlook it right now so when you meet me i have a blase blase energy you don't know what it is like is she mean is she nice is she carefree i'm all i'm everything i'm everything actually i'm everything but nice i'm kind i used to be nice but the world told me, hey, you need to fix it. So I said, you know what? Okay, I'm going to fix it. Nah, I'm going to be just kind. Sword of Lord. <laughs> Swords. <laughs> Swords. Okay. You know what, Swords? You're on one this morning and I'm loving it. We're out here telling our stories and stuff. People are looking at us from the screen like, you're crazy, girl. You're crazy. What the heck? But we all have to go through these experiences so we can learn and elevate in ascension. These experiences are all for educational purposes. This, the planet we are on, this is a classroom. It's a classroom. We're supposed to learn. That's why we come here. We come here to learn, right? We come here to learn from the planet, from each other, on a cosmic level, we're all one, but on this minuscule level, we're individuals and we're all having an individual solo experience, right? And it's all being recorded and sent back to the source, right? So we're, we're in a classroom, all these tumultuous times we go through, people betraying us, people trying to have us on a lie for finances, people getting paid behind the scenes to keep us stuck and things like that. The longer you keep her stuck, the more money you get. And you're just like, I know what you're doing. I know. I'm not naive. I'm not dumb. But you think I am because I'm not saying anything. But I know what you're doing. It's all educational purposes. Okay? And some of these people, they look at you like, how are you, supposed, how are you able to just walk out knowing everything that's going on in your life? That's because we know what's backing us up. I know what's backing me up. I know what's backing me up. That's why I can walk outside with my head held high. I don't have to regret nothing in life. Okay? There's a man in here that has clarity now about a situation and it's burdening him. Because he knows you are telling the truth. You are an empress. You're, you are who you say you are. And he knows there's an ending up ahead for him. All of these people are burdened. They're living in anxiety. They don't know what's about to happen. And it's set up that way for a reason. Because that tower at the end is needed. All of these people have to be humble. They have to be humble so that balance can be brought into your life. These people stole a lot from a lot of you trying to block you in every way possible. How is one person, how do you work for a company? This is what a lot of you are going through. How do you work for one company? You leave the company and go to the next company and the person from this company goes to this company to have them bully you and this company is idiotic enough to, to partake in it. How? Like you all don't see something wrong with that, but there's money in here somewhere, that's why. There's money. He said, hey, we have 300000 for you. The longer you keep blocking this man, this woman, the more we give you. Let's do a six-month contract. And they don't know this contract they're signing is binding. They can't fulfill their end of the bargain. That's a problem. There's something like that going on. People ending themselves thinking they're ending you all. Okay, we have 77, which goes down to 14 which goes down to five, okay? It is time to move on from the old part patterns, habits, and fears. 
Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and amb ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. I am brave. I'm telling you. <laughs> it said with everything you all are going through, the universe is telling you, be bold about it. Stand in your faith. Stand in your power. Take charge. They're supporting you. Take charge. You are in charge. Okay? Take charge. These people can't do nothing. They just empowered themselves. The moment they decided to be part of something so unorthodox, so unholy, inhumane, barbaric, malicious, and dark, they lost their power. They lost their power. You've got the power, collective, and you are disempowering yourself because when you come around these people, they're smiling, so you think everything is okay. No, it's not okay. You are surrounded by demons, greedy people, and their only mission is to block you, take you down, have you out of here so they can keep going on living this good life, buying new clothes, new equipment, new phones, new computers, new houses. Meanwhile, you're struggling to make ends meet and you're in the upright. That's not the life the most high destined for you. You were never meant to be in poverty. You were never meant to be in poverty. But you have somehow allowed yourself to be manipulated by the enemy to make you think that they're in charge and they're not in charge. Take charge back. This is you, the magician. This is a beautiful energy in the deck. This is someone that's spiritually gifted, wise, and physically as well. This is someone that's practically gifted and spiritually, analytically gifted. They have all the forces of the universe on their behalf, on their shoulders, around them, whatever way you can think of supporting them. This is experience. Okay, this is experience. This is why I said well, knowledge is power. This is someone with knowledge of both the physical and the spiritual realm. This is you. Some of these people, when you see them, they look like they're all powerful. They're not. They feel powerful because of the number in their bank accounts. Not because they're they're good people, not because they're educated, not because they do the right thing, not because they're contributing to the communities they're in. They're not contributing in any way, shape, or form. All they do is take from these communities, but they pretend that they're giving to the communities. Someone in here pretends to be of high honor. This is someone malicious and slimy as can be greedy. I'm being corrected to say greedy. This is someone greedy as heck. It could be this emperor led by greed. Whoever this is, it could be this king of pentacles led by greed. Come on. But they want you to feel like you are insignificant because there's only one of you and a thousand of them. We don't care about that. We don't care about that. You have a calling on your life. And the universe has no problem with flicking these people off like ants to get them out of your way so your pathway is clear and you can be on your way, on your journey. 88, okay, 16, 7. You are on the cups of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy, absolutely. What did we see down here earlier? People wanting you to be in poverty and the universe is reiterating to you, hey, you're not someone of impoverished po mindset. You don't come from a lineage of uh, impoverished people. That's not your destiny, you're a star seed. You have people maybe even copying things that you do and say they wanna sound educated they went to school, but they didn't learn nothing from the school they went to. So they have to copy what you say. And you're just looking at this mother effort here. You, you, you be as in me, right? You're just going to repeat what I say word for word and act like this is not happening. Honey, let me stop. Okay? 
Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.